what's up you guys. If you're planning on towing a trailer with your Honda Pilot, you have to have trailer wiring installed. It's required by the law. Let's go ahead and break down that install. You'll need the tools seen here to complete this installation. So to start off our install, Honda makes this really easy for us. We have a pre-wired plug that is all ready for towing right behind our driver's side harness. All we have to do is plug in our trailer wiring to it. Now we need to take apart our panelings to get there. So we're gonna start by removing our flooring. Next, we're gonna remove these two panels on the driver's side. We're just gonna pull out on this one. And on the top one, we're just gonna take a flathead screwdriver, pop it into that opening. And we'll pop that out and set it aside. Next, we're gonna remove our rear threshold panel. We're just gonna start on one of the ends and just pull straight up. And we'll set that aside. Next, we're gonna remove this panel a little bit forward on our cargo tray. We're just gonna pull back on it. Next, we're going to remove the cover on this cargo hook right here on the driver's side. We're just gonna pop off that cap using a flathead screwdriver and that exposes a screw that we'll remove using an eight millimeter socket. Next, we're going to remove this cargo hook a little bit down towards this cargo tray. We're just gonna pop open that hook and we're gonna remove the cover using a flathead screwdriver. It's just gonna pop out and that exposes a screw that we'll remove using a Phillips bit. Now we're ready to pull back on our driver's side panel. We're gonna use a trim panel tool. We're gonna to start at the bottom since we can kind of pull back a little right there and get behind it. And we're just gonna work our way up till we pop off all of these tabs and then we'll pull back on here. And this exposes our white plug that we'll be using for our harness. Now we're ready to plug in our trailer wiring. Now our kit comes with two plugs attached to it. One of it has a single blue wire. Now this is for if your vehicle has rear backup sensors attached to it, you can plug this in to help assist with that. Otherwise, our vehicle does not have it, so we're just gonna plug this in. Now we're gonna take our converter box and the rest of our wiring, and we're gonna push it through our paneling towards this opening right here. Now we're going to ground our white wire with the ring terminal. We're gonna use this existing bolt right here behind our paneling. We're gonna use a 10 millimeter socket to remove it. So we went ahead and attached our bolt with our ring terminal behind it. We'll go ahead and tighten it down. Next, we're gonna clear everything out of our storage compartment right here. Just gonna take out our jack. And that exposes a grommet right here that we're going to remove. Now we're gonna take our four flat harness and we're gonna push it through that grommet. We're just gonna bring it behind our paneling through both of those openings to get there. Then we'll push our four flat through all the way. And on the end of our harness, we have this grommet right here that will just sit right in there and seal it up. Now we're all done in our cargo area, so we'll go ahead and put everything back together. Now underneath our vehicle, let's go ahead and mount our four flat harness next to our hitch receiver. Now before we do that, our wiring come out, comes out right here on the side and we're gonna bring it behind all of our bumper support to keep it behind there and it'll come out right here next to our receiver. Now we're going to mount our four flat harness next to our hitch receiver. A lot of people like to leave it dangling on the tow loop, but it can come loose and get dragged on the ground and get damaged. So we're gonna use a four flat mounting bracket. This isn't included with our kit, but you can pick one up at your closest U-Haul center or at uhaul.com. But we're just gonna take this and we're gonna line it up right here on the bottom of our hitch. And we're gonna use a 3 16 drill bit and drill our first hole. 
Now we're gonna take one of the provided screws from our kit and we're gonna bring it through that hole. We're gonna line up our bracket and secure it with our first nut. Now we're gonna make sure it's square with the bumper and then we'll repeat on the second hole. And then when using a 10 millimeter socket, we'll tighten up those nuts. Then we'll bring our wiring through the bracket until it seals and then we'll secure it with the dust cover. We have a lot of extra wire, so we're just gonna tuck it up behind our bumper support and zip tie it to keep it secure. With our wiring secured, we need to plug in a couple fuses into our fuse box located right here in the engine compartment. We're just gonna pop off this cover by pulling on these three tabs. Now our kit comes with a box type 30 amp fuse. We're gonna insert that on position two right here on the end. And then we have two 20 amp fuses. One will go on position three, right next to the box fuse we installed. And the other will go on the other side on position 11. And then we'll go ahead and reinstall our cover. With everything powered up and secured, you're ready to tow a trailer. Thank you for watching our video. If you have any questions about this product, or if you'd like to schedule an installation with a U-Haul Hitch professional, you can visit your closest U-Haul Hitch Center, or you can visit us online at uhaulhitches.com. Thank you.